Hi, everyone. <laughs> Another Ascended Master message, the final one for today. Uh, Lady Nada, also known as Mary Magdalene, when, while she was on Earth. Uh, but her Ascended name is Lady Nada. I just wanted to say hi to everyone in the chat. Hi, Marina, Art Center Tarot, uh, Viviani, Rockstar, uh, Marvita, Dragonfly, Laurie. Um, you guys, your comments are, they make me cry. Thank you so much for leaving such beautiful comments. And it makes me feel like, um, I feel really warm hearted that these messages are touching you and, you know, helping you see yourself a little more clearly as we all sometimes need that message, who we really are. And um, yeah, it's powerful for me as well. So without further ado, we'll move on to Lady Nada, also known as Mary Magdalene on Earth. This was transmitted to me in March, um, the earlier part of March. Um, and she starts we are with you now, begin transmission. Beloveds, be at peace. We are working together and directing energies of healing toward humanity, toward Earth and all humanity. It is true that Mother Earth is a sentient being and has her own evolution and ascension. She is working towards this, and humanity is coming along with her. Although humanity has its own evolutionary path. Together, both Mother Earth and humanity can raise each other's vibration to enable the light forces to work toward ascension for both. It is not anything that is wrong or needs to be fixed. But that is the normal course of human evolution and Mother Earth's as well. This is as it should be in third density. The evolution to higher densities will preclude those whose resonance is not vibrating at that level. It is not a segregation or judgment, but rather energy vibrates at a certain level. And as the frequencies vibrate, light uh, attracts the same frequency as its resonance. This doesn't mean that those vibrating at a lower frequency are wrong. They have chosen it. Uh, it is not their time to make that leap in evolution, which is simply their choice. As a big experiment, mankind has free will to choose whether to advance and also choose the timing. We love every single soul in their evolution. We will continue to provide guidance and light to those who stay in third density farm. For their time will come to decide to evolve as well. It is what Earth School is all about. We are the way showers and keep the flame of the sacred heart alive and well within all humanity. The soul knows what the course is. Awareness is the key to freedom from the third density limitation. We of the Rose Cross are here with you now, bringing light on your path. Although we can't do it for you, we can assist you every step of the way if you ask us for assistance. The sisters and brothers of the Rose Cross are a group whose mission to balance the energies between dimensions and realms. As above, so below, on earth as it is in heaven. The vertical line on the cross is the energetic gateway. The energies, light beings, and souls travel between realms. The horizontal line represents the segregation of realms becoming balanced. And the rose means spiritual enlightenment, like a lotus flower. The thorns symbolize the tra travails we go through on the physical plane where our souls learn to evolve. We of the sister 
Brotherhood of the Rose Cross are with you every moment. When you ask, we will assist you. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their life to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. Sisterhood of the Rose groups existed in Atlantis uh, throughout though thousands of years ago to anchor in the goddess energy. They later reemerged in ancient Egypt as priestesses of Isis, with the rose being the sacred symbol of the goddess Isis. In the time of the Crusades, the Sisterhood of the Rose was the feminine counterpart to the Templars, and they have exerted positive influence. Venus Sun transits in 2004 and 2012 were a coded sign to re reactivate the Sisterhood of the Rose. It has been requested from the light forces that women and men in, with inner connection with the goddess begin to gather in groups and to reactivate the Sisterhood of the Rose. So with that transmission ending, I pulled the Five of Wands for this. Calm center of the storm. And this image had lilies clutched over the heart. Kundalini rising, inspiration ignites after turmoil. The key words, holding your center, finding your peace. Change, conflict, struggle brings opportunity for expansion and renewal. The calm, comfortable place is falling apart. This, for me, signifies the world. What is going on in our world? So the change, struggle, conflict is an opportunity for the world to expand and renew. That calm place we saw of the world is kind of falling apart right now. But that's okay. The key is hold on to your spiritual center as both the inner and the outer self confronts change and navigates conflict. Not in ego, but your inner personal power where you will find peace and balance during the chaos of life. Rebirth, the gift is rebirth to a new identity, lifestyle, or path. And you know, the Sisterhood of the Rose is all about that heart energy, the energy of compassion, unconditional love, that kindness and generosity of spirit toward everyone that is around you. And even those across the world that because we're such, so connected everywhere, right? So <clears throat> uh I always, I had to kind of work not to cry. <laughs> it's always those hard energies. <laughs> they come in and it, oh, they're so beautiful. So, um, oh, it's so nice to see everybody here again. Um, Viviani, Rockstar, Lori, um, Marvita Dragonfly, Marina, uh, Prince Charming's mom. Good to see you all here. And Lauren. Uh, it was, I was happy to get these messages out because they were getting backlogged. <laughs> I'm glad I just took this day to do these and I still have some to do, but oh, hi, Mother's Tarot, Loretta. Um, I will come back on, we'll say at um, three o'clock uh, Pacific time for readings if somebody if anybody of you if any one of you wants personal readings or um, you know messages from spirit whatever you want i'll spend some time with you then and um i just really appreciate all your support and your beautiful messages just it's so heartfelt and i just makes me want to cry so you know, I absolutely adore you all. And um, in 
you know, a little over an hour, I'll come back on and um, we'll do some personal readings for everyone. So um, I'll set that up and come back and spend some time with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. You guys rock. Love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you later.